If you're heading out, be careful. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Nice to see a friendly face around here. We don't get many visitors of your esteem. Something I can do for you? Not good. If we don't get more supplies, we're gonna have to start using dirt for food and sticks and rocks for weapons. Hey, how'd you like to do something for me? I want you to collect NCR dog tags from our fallen troopers. That way I can keep track of who's gone and how to reallocate our supplies. It's easy. Just bring back any NCR dog tags you find and I'll try to make it worth your while. If you're looking for supplies, I'll make this easy for you. There aren't any. But something tells me you're not here for that. What do you want? Things are still pretty damn rough, but we're keeping it together. Me? Well, I've been doing this shit for far too long and have been in too many battles to remember. Still, this has gotta be one of the worst situations I've been in. Not too much I can do about it, but do my job and do it right. I don't have any supplies to spare, but I got caps if you have anything you don't need. Another satisfied customer. Uh-huh. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Watch out for strangers. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. Don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I roll into town, my skin starts to itch. Watch yourself. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Be seeing you. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it. So, I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. 
I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. What can I do for you? Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Pleasure doing business with you. Bye.
careful. They got spies. Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. We'll just see about that. You come any closer and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Old stick is feeling mighty ornery this day. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. But not so much that they hear you. They got people everywhere, always listening. There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Work of the Chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says Nobark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Well, says Nobark, we got a Chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. I come face to face with the Chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest Chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it. Walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey. Cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Ghosts. Kami ghosts, what don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual... What with the shock of seeing a Kami ghost and so forth. Cause they know I ain't just barking here. What I say is God bite, cause it's the truth. Them quack doctors can say what they want about all the rad scorpion stings that done pierced my skull. And I know what I seen. I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him. Cause it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers, and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Seen it all. Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or use the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Hey there. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. 
Okay, if that's what you think. That's it, then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides, I was on break when it happened. Yeah.
Over here! Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Get moving.
All right, Smootskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. <laughs> 